The Greenway is a shared use path that extends through the heart of South Lake Tahoe and provides the backbone of non-motorized vehicle traffic through town. Um, it's a critical connection for a variety of different neighborhoods and resources such as Bijou Park and the Lake Tahoe Community College. And we're here today because we're really excited about uh, the construction efforts that have been underway on phases 1B and 2 of the Greenway. Um, El Dorado County has been uh, started construction uh, in May of this year on these uh, important sections of the Greenway and they've made significant progress. So uh, as a quick update, um, certain sections of these trails are already complete and other um, elements such as the bridge over Trout Creek has been installed as well. And the county right now is uh, trying to complete some of the last elements such as the boardwalk and other pieces of this important trail section. The Greenway is being constructed in a historic Caltrans right-of-way. At one point, Caltrans was planning to develop a major freeway through the California side of the Lake Tahoe Basin. Uh, because of growth controls in Lake Tahoe, that freeway wasn't built, and that right-of-way was given to another state agency, which is the California Tahoe Conservancy. So the Greenway is really important because it will really enhance the recreation experience in Tahoe and public access to natural areas. Um, it's also important for a couple other reasons. It's helpful to connect communities and neighborhoods to town centers and to natural areas, which is a really critical part of making sustainable communities. And it'll also help climate change because we'll get people out of their cars and actually walk and bike to places, which will reduce vehicle miles traveled and the emissions that obviously create carbon and result in climate change. Yeah, the county was uh, very excited when the Conservancy approached us about uh, helping them with the implementation of this project. Um, the county's role by and large was to take a uh, preliminary design that had environmental clearance and run it through the final design, put it out to bid, and build the project. All of that has been successful so far, and uh, it's through the deep cooperation of the Conservancy, City of South Lake Tahoe, Lake Tahoe Community College, uh, the South Tahoe Public Utility District, and the county. This project has uh, got to the point where we're in the, the middle of delivering it through construction, and uh, we're really looking forward to getting help from the public. The college is a partner in this project, and we brought some financial resources to the table to help support the reality of the Greenway Trail, but also engaged in a property exchange with the California Tahoe Conservancy, so that way the Greenway Trail can meet its desired and most efficient route. So these sections of the Greenway actually pass through some, some really sensitive areas, um, some floodplains, some stream environment zones, and so forth. And that was critical in order to make these neighborhood connections and provide um, this trail through these areas. But the Conservancy has worked very closely with partners and regulatory agencies um, and the public to ensure that these sections of trails are constructed in, in such a fashion as to protect water quality, protect other sensitive ecological resources, and really have as, as little impact on the natural environment as possible given these critical connections over sensitive areas. One of the most important aspects uh, for protecting the Trout Creek Meadow area and the Bijou Meadow area was just to put up fences along our construction corridor. We had a 100 foot swath, and it's easy for construction projects to kind of creep outside of where you want them to be. So you put up a little, you put up a fence at the beginning and it, and it gives everybody you know, a clear understanding of where they can go and where they can't go. And that really limits our footprint inside those meadows. We're also obviously careful right around Trout Creek when we constructed the abutments. And then uh, we designed the project to have a uh, bridge with a superstructure that could be set into place with a crane instead of having to build it over the bridge. And that really, really reduces the amount of uh, opportunities for pollution to get into Trout Creek. The trail is a separated trail, a class one trail it's, it's called, and uh, that trail is, is separated from the roadway for safety and for user enjoyment, and uh, just as a way to, to provide enough of a comfort level that more cyclists will uh, get out of their cars and, and ride their bicycles so that we can better protect the environment in Lake Tahoe. Our vision is to be California's premier destination community college. So we have students coming to live here from all over the state and even all over the world. And many of them only have bikes and bus transportation as their primary access to campus. And the Greenway Trail is gonna provide a key corridor to getting to and from our campus for our students and employees. This project shows that when a state agency like Conservancy is willing to cooperate and work with local agencies like El Dorado County, 
uh, Lake Tahoe Community College, the City of South Lake Tahoe, and the South Tahoe PUD. Um, things can really happen quickly and efficiently. And everybody comes to the table empowered by their elected leaders to make good decisions, funded appropriately, and obstacles are cleared. You know, we end up with a successful project like this that benefits the community and benefits our agencies too.